Hello everybody, this is Scott and Tate. We'll be reviewing another program known as AVG Premium Security 2014. And as you can see, I've got a uh, virtual machine set up, so I'll be doing some uh, beta reviews later. But as you can see, we have uh, quite a few uh, interesting changes here. The UI looks very similar, but it's also cleaner, and it's got a lot more important information on it opposed to the 2013 version. And I told you to fix it but you're not doing what I say okay then so we have a the very basic setup here but before we do anything we're gonna go to our options and I swear I just skipped it as advanced settings and we're gonna turn off any stupid sounds and then we're gonna computer protection antivirus and this, this, and this need to be checked. Anti root kit that needs to be checked. <clears throat> email protection, email scanner. We're not going to worry about that, so we're kind of kind of skip it for now. Link scanner and online shield. Identity protection scans. All right. So actually, as far as programs go, this one's actually pretty well configured out of the box. There's not a whole lot that needs to be changed from the antivirus settings, but we are going to go into our firewall and change those settings. And I, okay. Okay. And okay. So it is pretty well configured, but we're just gonna quickly go over our basic features we got our quick tune quick tune allows us to it's basically a small ver it's like a mini C cleaner in a way it will scan broken things registry errors drunk files fragmentation blah 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 it'll go through it will scan all those and then it will try to fix them it's what kind of set AVG apart from the other companies AVG was one of the very first companies that really started adding uh, system tune-up abilities into their software. Another one that started doing it really early was Bitdefender. They all started giving you uh, optimization software included with your antivirus software because they realized how important it was for your system to be running quickly and for it to be safe at the same time. It also allowed them to charge more for a product because now it has more features. We're not going to finish that scan. And we have... These don't seem to be clickable. These just are like... Ah, no, they are. Online Shield. So, it's it's very basic. I mean, this needs to be fixed. Your options it, need to be fixed. There is too much crap right here. We don't need this. We don't need this. This. Help should be in the options setting. Firewall should be in the advanced settings. Virus Vault. We need to have a menu right here. I need to be able to access my quarantine files from the menu. Uh, update it should I should have that button here you see you're pushing all the important information to the side and that's not and that's not good so what I can say about this is AVG's always been it's been a moderately well performing antivirus as far as the uh, as far as the settings have gone I mean it's been decent it's never actually performed extremely well since so many people use it you'd be expecting it's one of the top detections Actually, that's kind of false, and it's also the opposite. AVG is one of the lower end antivirus suites, but they perform well and they do well because so many people will trust them. The a AVG is very similar to Avast. Both their products are popular, but they're not as powerful as some of their competition. So, as you can see, we have like a poorly thrown together like UI, which I don't understand how people use this. Here's another thing, premium bundle. This will give me complete protection on my mobile devices as well. Okay, this can be used. How is this going to help me? How is this going to help me? How is this going to help me? And why do I need this when these are here? Maybe it's just because this is a trial version. I don't know. But it is obnoxious. Why on earth do I need to have this and this here? And even this? When if I have an account and I paid for the antivirus suite in the first place, I should already have those features, and I wouldn't necessarily need 
these to be here and this just needs to be cleaned up this is like I guess cluttered as you could say update from directory update scan file scan here scan buttons already there virus fault it all like a lot of important stuff needs to be over here and a lot of the stupid stuff needs to be compressed into one thing why do I need about viruses and threats even if they're trying to give the average user who doesn't know anything about them, this this doesn't need to be here. So that's pretty much going to be my final thoughts on this program. If you have any questions relating to it, I was kind of I'm kind of disappointed in the program. I'm there's it's lacking quite a bit of thing. Go away. That's not from this. This is from my main computer. But they need to offer a little bit more. I mean. These protections are great and all, but it needs to be reworked and you need to fix the stupid UI. The 2013 UI was better because it didn't have all these extra things, and these extra tabs are not the problem. The problem arose when you gave us useless tabs such as these. And this. This needs to be fixed. Before we go though, we're going to look at the quick RAM usage of oops sorry we need to go here but since this is up oh, there it is task manager and now we're going to see how much AVG is currently using as far as its RAM goes alright user interface 5.5 .5 and AVG is using 7 12, burden to say 13, we're going to round it, 13, uh, 13.5, 32.5, 37.38.3, uh, uh, 44, 40, uh, no, 53, no, 49, 45, 46, that's actually quite a lot for this kind of software that's on the heavier end of antivirus protection it's because you have all these shields as counting as separate processes so there you go I mean do you, do you recommend buying this program no I mean APG is a nice free antivirus but the fact of the matter remains that we don't need to pay for antivirus software as home users but if you were going to pay for an antivirus software, don't get this software. Go with Kaspersky or Bitdefender or some of the higher performing softwares because this just isn't that impressive to me. It It's missing. It needs better detection rates and this UI sucks. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for another video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.